thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I am going to be working on a slight variation on the stuff I've been working on lately. This this medieval village is kind of kind of my current project. Um, I have been asked to take it and do a couple more designs, a couple new angles, and so we're going to do two point. We're going to play with some two point perspective, and. Uh, We'll go from there. I'm going to start with some quick little sketches and, and sample or uh, silhouettes, and then we'll play with uh, laying out some layouts and, and getting the the stuff going. I changed up my my window setup so you can see that um, over here the the window is a little bit smaller. I realized that my video kept cutting off like the bottom corner. And I work a lot in that little bottom corner, so. Uh, let me know if this isn't as good for you or if it was better the other way and I can try to work work with that and uh, let's get this camera kind of angled so you're not just staring at the bottom half of my face. Um, Alright, so silhouettes. Let's play with some of those. Um, I'm going to take this pen, pen tool because I can get varying shapes and stuff with it. So right now I'm just trying to think of um, shapes and forms that would look like a medieval building that might be interesting. I'll probably come back in and cut some of this out. I'm trying to over overdo it a little bit so I don't have boring buildings in my next stage. I just realized I don't have any kind of music on. I'm going to do that. I want to get some music playing because it is going to be kind of boring drawing to, to no music at all. My headset was just turned off. Sorry, I've been talking and you probably haven't been able to hear me. Um, so, let me start over. Thanks for tuning in. We are going to be doing some silhouettes. Some, from there, we'll go ahead and we'll move into some quick rendering and layout design for a two point perspective of the little medieval city. And then uh, maybe we'll start on that and get that kind of moving. Um, I changed my video setup, as you can see here. I realized that the bottom corner was getting cut off by my camera previously. So hopefully this is a little bit better, because you can see what I draw if I draw down in that corner. Um, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know, and I can kind of change it. Change it? Ah, I can't even talk today. <laughs> All right, so we're doing silhouettes, thinking about form overall, thinking about interesting shapes, uh, thinking about buildings, because we're going to be doing a little cityscape. So I'm trying to think whether or not I want my focus to be like a giant castle, or maybe like a, a windmill, um, or maybe just like an average building. Just but the average buildings are kind of boring. You don't want that to be the focal point of your your overall image. Like the the street that I did last week, 
the focal point was the claustrophobic feeling that you get. So it was intentionally crowded and, and channeled you into this weird tight spot. Um, And there's lots of things you want to think about when you're doing silhouettes. Um, the the main thing is you don't want a lot of shapes that are separate or feel separate. So like if I draw a box and I put a roof on it, this is a this is a boring little silhouette. Your your brain goes around this shape really quickly. It sees one, two, three, four, five, six sides, maybe seven. Um, you want lots of little angles for it to turn and go around and w have to work itself around. But at the same time, you want to make sure that it's not so over the top and crazy that it's just too busy. So like this one's feeling a little bit busy for me, but I could probably take it and make something out of it. Although a lot of times I don't even use my silhouettes into the final drawings. It's just kind of a, a way to start thinking about different building shapes and building forms. I was talking about that windmill, so let's... Let's do one. Do I have two audio things playing right now? Yes? That's freaking weird. And I just killed all of it. Sorry, resetting the music. So how are you doing this evening? What if this windmill were part of just an addition onto a house?
What's up, Brent? Hey, are you going to start streaming? Uh, I'm, I'm not, not ignoring, ignoring you. you. Oh, you, you texted, texted me? me? You texted My, bad. Me? My bad. Did you text me once I started streaming? Once I started streaming? Oh no, you know what? My my new phone is being really stupid. I don't get um I don't get a notification when I get a text message. It it shows a little bubble that I've got a text message, but it doesn't like buzz or anything like that. So I gotta figure out the notification settings on this new phone. Okay, so yeah, let's definitely do a dual stream. Any idea how to do a dual stream? <laughs> All right. We'll do a quick Google search and figure this out. Ooh, I'm digging this building. I'm sorry. Let me finish this building, then I'm going to Google search it. I'm digging that. I like that. All right, you figure it out. Let me know, and we'll we'll do whatever it takes. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We are trying to figure out how to set up a dual stream right now. And then we, uh, me and my buddy Brent here, will be doing a dual stream. Brent, are we both going to be working on this on the medieval village stuff? He's busy looking stuff up. I figure I'm probably going to get into the the actual layout part of the medieval city today. I don't usually do silhouettes for too long.
I like that. Hey, no worries, Warfrog. I'm sorry that you tuned in, like, right at the end of the last time we were doing this. Or I was doing this, rather. Alright, so what do you think, Warfrog? Should I make my focus like an evil castle? Should I do like a cool medieval building? Or like a, like a windmill thing? I'm thinking if I do a castle, it'll be an evil castle. Evil castles are more fun. <laughs> wow, busting out Final Fantasy VIII references on me. Good times. I love that game. Oh, once upon a time. Okay. Apparently Regina is just a really common name for evil evil villains.
So I think that the uh, evil castle is going to win. You think you got it? Figure out how to do dual stream. Oh shit, my nightbot just night fucking. <laughs> just... <laughs> my nightbot says nay nay. Teach you to try to send links. What do we need to do, Brent? Nightbot blocked you. Did you just set it straight up on Twitch? Yeah, that's why I'm asking, did you set it up on Twitch? Because if so, I can I can set it up and then my night box won't block us. The browser source? Got it. I just need to get the link. Is the link on Twitch? Thanks for joining. We are right in the middle of trying to get a dual stream set up. Uh, yeah, go ahead and send it through Discord. I can grab it through there.
Put that there. And drag that over here. All right, so we may lose the video here for just a second. Oh, crap. Hey, Brent, if I do this, it's going to override my little window. I'm going to have a window in a window. Yeah, this is creepy because I'm like watching it, it do that. Because it's pulling straight from my Twitch rather than from my OBS. Yeah, no, but I mean, if I set it up as my main source, I'll lose my video input of my uh, my painting and stuff. Is way thicker than I want. That's better. Maybe. Uh, can you? Yeah, I don't know how I would stream it. Um, I could, you know what, I could do this. Instead of using the dual screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that um, that link that you sent me. Instead of using the, the link, I'm going to use your Twitch channel, and I'll make it uh, half my screen. Are you streaming right now, Brent? Killing me, bro. When was the last time you streamed? Because I gotta try to grab your. Oh, you know what? I can do it this way. Yeah, go live right now and I'll be able to crop this window down. And I mean, you're already in my chat, so you'll show up on my on my thing. And then I'll shrink that video a little bit.
killing me, Smalls. I'm getting a Martha Stewart ad for you. I'm going on to the part of this evening where we're going to start uh, working on some quick layouts and figuring out what we want to do with this evil castle. I think four should be, four a page should be good. I'll probably do more than this. But, so we want the evil castle to be the focus. I'm going to start by putting it like right in the center here. Make that look bigger. Let's make it like a really big gate right in the front. all the little town buildings really kind of small really pumped the idea that this building is massive oh yeah Brent your screen is all jacked up because you're doing a dual screen <laughs> So you're doing a dual screen, and if you look at my screen, I've got your screen inside of that. And so it just goes on and on and on and on and on. That's the issue I was having when I was trying to set it up. I'm going to have to put a technical difficulties thing over his screen. <laughs> we probably should have worked this out before we started streaming, but we are not planners. <laughs> We're artists. We're artists. <laughs> you just saw that. <laughs> you know what? I'm not really liking that that much. Just a mess. But, you know, that's how they usually start out. So. 
And my screen is small. Yeah, let's uh, let me do this. Now you can see right where I'm working. It's going to be a little bit more manual for me because I'm going to have to change it periodically, but at least you can get a better view even than you were able to a minute ago. Okay, so I really want this building here to be the, the main focal point, so I'm going to take and cut back some of this other stuff. We want there to be a little bit of an opening around it, so you get the kind of feel that you can move your eyes around the object. So I'm going to cut this building back, and literally we will frame. Right like that. And I don't like the idea of just like one big single building. So let's start dividing this guy down. I don't want to get too close to that top there because it'll cut off my little building. I kind of like that sharp triangular gatehouse. Let me try to pull that back in. So I'm going to break that out a little bit more too and give it a little bit of an extra shape rather than being so boxy. Hey Brent, you figure out what you're doing with that dual screen?
I don't think he's figured out what he's doing yet. He's just got picture in picture. Just going infinitely smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was seeing was going to be an issue. All right, Brent, how about this? Because I think we're cutting off like a, a lot of opportunity here. Let's, um, let's try to figure it out before tomorrow stream. So like I'm gonna stream tomorrow as well. So let's just kid it. Let's kill it for right now and just do our single channels and then we'll get together uh, on Discord or on chat and then We'll get it figured out. And then we'll be able to do it for tomorrow. Sound good? Perfect. I'm going to kill your channel then.